All right, so if you have a 2005 to I think 2008 Toyota Prius, all your uh, Priuses will have a uh, water pump that exists right here. And that particular water pump uh, will go out inevitably on every Prius uh, within those years. I'm not sure about the other uh, you know, years of the Prius, but as particularly the 2005 and 2008, that will occur. So what happened is that that uh, pump went out and I got an error code. I've cleared it now, but it'll be a red triangle of death. It'll be located right there. And you won't be able to get rid of it unless first you must replace your water pump. You're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, and also uh, a long extension for your socket wrench. And you can get out quite quickly, but the hardest part is actually taking these heavy duty hose clamps off. You have to do it here. And I used a potato. After I removed this, I used a potato and I pushed it on there because I couldn't find anything to fit on there and it actually held it. Uh, but just to let you know, when you go to the Toyota dealership and you go and get a new one of these, the first one I installed, I actually got a faulty pump. It didn't work. Didn't know it. Red triangle came on again. I had to deal with all that all over again. Not fun. But so my words of wisdom here is that if you take this pump out, uh, you're gonna have to disconnect a plug that's right here that's connected to it, okay? And by the way, even with the car, and, and this isn't on YouTube, even with the car uh, in electric mode right now, in park, I have my hand on the pump, I can feel the, the coolant in, uh, pumping through the pump. And even without the combustion engine running and the automobile being in electric mode, there is turbulence in the water. It's moving, as you can see. You see the, the movement there? So that's indicating that the pump is operating. So that's one way you can tell if you've installed a pump and if it is working. If not, you'll have no movement like how I did. But how I truly tested this, um, I went ahead and uh, if you take this off, right here, back to the plug idea, this plug, when you disconnect this plug and you take it out, there will be two leads because it's an electric water pump. And when you actually take this pump, on the right side is the positive lead. There's, there will be like, you know, look like this on the inside of it. I'll have, after you disconnect the plug, I'll have a positive lead with my middle finger and my index finger. That will be your black, uh, your, your uh, negative lead. So your red is your, my middle finger, which is your positive lead, and your left is your black, which is your negative lead. And if you connect a 12 volt battery to it, your pump will operate. If it does not operate, then you have a bad pump. So that's how I tested it before I knew I could actually test it like this, because I didn't have the luxury of knowing that knowledge, because uh, I wasn't on YouTube. So, back to the red triangle. If you get the red triangle of death, and it's existing right here, the only way to get rid of it is replace your pump and then secondly come over here and disconnect one two and three so if you disconnect these three and i'll actually do it for you right now so i'm gonna actually turn my automobile off all right turn it off all right go over here so there's a little clip right here you press then you pull Try and do it with one hand. Okay, you take that out, and then you go over here, you hold this one. Let's get this one first. This one isn't usually that bad. All right, take that one. Let me disconnect this third one here. Let's see if I can do it. I got coin on my hands. All right, let's wipe them off. All right, here he comes. I have to set my phone down for this one. Almost got it. All right, there we go, got it. You disconnect these for about five minutes. 
and then your red triangle on your dash will go away and will be reset and then plug them back up uh, oh excuse me unplug them for five minutes then plug them up plug them back or reconnect them and then therefore you will actually have a cleared red triangle and your pump will be working and you'll be back in business and having a good time with your Toyota Prius. Just want to put that out there. No one has made a video like this, uh, all inclusive with all the features. Um, but I've learned from other videos and some had some really good ideas that I actually used in this video. So I want to give them credit for that. But uh, nevertheless, uh, this is how to get your pump replaced on your Toyota Prius. And this is a 2008 Toyota Prius, by the way. And also, uh, check your coolant to see if there's turbulence and also you can put your hand on the pump you know to see if the pump is pumping in electric mode and also you now know how to clear your red triangle after you've replaced your pump you go over here and disconnect your 12 volt battery just to do a recap here and then you actually let them stay disconnected for about five minutes then reconnect and you're back in business so i hope this helps everyone out there and if I need to watch this video in the future, I know it'll help me because I'm probably not gonna remember all that. And that's about it. All right, thank you very much and have fun driving. Bye-bye.